everyone. It is I, Razor12IT. Today's the day, everyone. We're going to answer your Q&A questions on this channel. So I know y'all had a week to put your comments up. But this time, this Q&A is going to be a bit better than the last one. All right, everyone. So the first question is... All right, so this first question comes from a person named NoobTube. So he has two questions. So question number one, do you have admin in PMBEBGE or are you just known? Question two, will you add this user account username to your friends list? Bet you won't, lol. Well, to be honest, I am not a border admin and uh, I'm just known in the server because... I have connections to a lot of Border Ammons, Wiggles, the, the Viking King. Yeah, I kind of got all these connections within Border because I'm so known in the community. It just feels great, man. This feels great. Also, for the second question, no. I can't friend you. My friends list is full. Sorry. All right. So, second question on the book is... Radman Gaming says, Hey, can you do a face reveal? Well, truth be told, no. You want to know why? It is because I want to get to a certain amount of subscribers before I reveal my face. So, I'm sorry, bro. Just try and imagine my face for now until, until the inevitable comes. Okay? I'm sorry. All right. Third question of the day goes to... This one goes to Lyman. So he says, two questions again. Wow, we're getting a lot of questions here. So let's answer, like, all of them. So, would you ever think of dropping merch or a face reveal? And what do you think about the mods and the Discord server? Asking for a friend. Oh, whoa! Alright, so with the number one, I could give a plausible answer. No, I'm not dropping merch anytime soon, but it is a good idea to keep with me in the future. And two, I've already answered that question before. And for the second one, the what do I think about the mods in, in the Discord server? They're pretty good people. They're just doing their job. And then the ooh, -ooh in the comment... Ah, uh, okay. I'm not going to say because yeah, let's do something with furries. All right, everyone. Moving on to number four. All right, so a user by the name of Nima Nassery says, Are you going for Goatee once again? Mate, I got one thing to say to you. Good question. Good question. When? All right, all right. Sorry for the loud ear blast thing. So... When am I going to go back to the goatee? When I get 40 points to do the goatee trial, of course, and then pass it. And maybe I'll get all the requirements fulfilled and not get kicked out like Armin did. Eee? All right, number five is coming up with... The Netherlands says, how old are you? And when is it your birthday? So then I can say happy birthday on that day. That's a really good question. For those of you that have not known, I am 18, which means I'm a legal adult. So, then, so my birthday, good question, guys, good question. It's on the 26th of June, and if you're in the United States, that's the last day of school. That's a fun fact. Now, this means that every June 26th, is Razor's birthday! <laughs> okay, I stop with Eva laugh. Next question! Alright, a user by the name of Ezekiel Pereza says, When did you start playing Border? Hmm, alright, that's a good question to ask Razor because he knows when he first started. Like, I started, like, literally last year, around late July to August. I was playing Border all the time until I realized. I can start a YouTube channel, get thousands of views, then make money! But in all in all, that 
I just play border. I just played border because it's a simplified version of a border game and doesn't have all these super tight technical graphics and all of these auto systems or the sticky DNI. Yeah, that's the main reason why I emigrated to the border kingdom and became a KC and I'm a, I'm a citizen. E all right, my friends. Next question. All right, so a guy by the name of Guest Ninja says, Are you going to resign again, Guest Ninja? Let me tell you something. No. I don't feel like resigning from anyone, any anywhere from the KCs. Uh, in my, in simple terms, no. I'm not resigning from KC. No. But in the case of Goaty, I'll only resign if I have a huge monkey on my back. Like if I have... Huge projects, huge exams, etc. I only become goatee when the conditions become favorable for me. Because if I have lots of free time and lots of money, I can become goatee and troll the Vikings. Stupid text. Okay, next question. Alright, so this question comes from Cactus Fruit BXI. Did you ever meet Mr. Wiggles or made art and become counsel? Mmm, yes, that's a three in one. I could just say that, yes, I did meet Mr. Wiggles at a couple of times. Like, I met him during the tryout, I met him during a, his own patrols, I met him when I did the Noob King video, if you haven't seen it. I also met him many times, and no, I didn't make art or become council. Sorry, buddy, well, I tried running for council at one point. I could definitely answer that for you, but no art, because... I don't draw right. All right. Question. Next question. Okay. Go, go, go. Next question. How many abusers do you encounter as KC? Well, truth be told, I encounter a lot. Usually they're a mission, and they, and they love to go kill people in this booth I'm standing in front of. They go in, and before you know it, they use their little sword, and down they go. How did you fight the border game? So, how I found Border Game? Good question. So, how I found Border Game was that I was just browsing through Roblox, being bored as usual, until I came across the, this game that had no wooden walls, just a stone castle, and a mountain up to Brick God. The Viking Island was real small, and that's when I encountered early Border. And yes, that's how I got to Border, actually. So question answered, buddy. First of all, I would like to thank Amir Plays and also Doge Boy for their contributions to these questions because that is what I've read off of this. That's what I read off of my friend since he doesn't have voice chat and all. So I had to dub his lines. Okay, guys, next question. All right, so Jack Nino says, question one, what's your nationality? Question two, if you, ever, if you ever make it to the point, would you ever join the star program? With all the cons and pros it would come with. Mmm, yeah, double whammy. Okay, so, for question number one, you ain't gonna know about my nationality till the ancestry test around 10,000 subscribers, I'm afraid. <laughs> and for your second question, I will join the star program because, well, it gets me more recognition. What else? And yes. And yes, and yes, I'll join the star program, whatever. Next and last question of the video. All right, so the last question of this video is Gaming for Life underscore XAV said, can you do a setup tour? Well, apparently, yes, I will do a setup tour, but let me tell you this, people. Let me tell you this. I have hearted your comment because you're the last comment to be, you know, to be hosted on the show today. So, thank you for posting your last question. Good job, buddy, good job. All right, everyone. Thank you all for going to the 1,000 sub mark. But not only that, we did the Q&A. Or you did the, made the Q&A happen. So... Without further ado, I would just like to say thank you to all you who have stayed with me up until this point. So, 
the next week will be your second reward. So be sure to stay tuned next Friday for your next reward. Oh, and this week, there's going to be another revamp of a How to Be the Guardian of the Island video. There's another foreshadow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say this. Good day, good night. Bye. We crashed into each other.